Cold, hotter, colder, raining, not raining. And then what do you guys think of the new extra long tip boxes? Aren't they so dope? So let's measure our 5XL coffin. I have all these random like marks on me. I'm like, who scratched me? And the 5XL tip boxes, as you guys can see, fit all the sizes. Including the 10XL. Can't wait to try them. I hope you love them. There we go. Perfect. Has anybody been watching the Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee show on Hulu? So before I put them on, I'm just going to file the free edge, nice and square, how I like it. So that way, after I put them on, it's less work for me. There we go. Been shipped. My only complaint is I always see something new, and I want, and I have to place another order. And then Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So if you want to get some Valentine's Day stuff, now is the time to do so, so that way you can have it for sure prior to Valentine's. And get the phalanges snatched. She's like, Max says it to me all the time, said Tony. And I swear today was Thursday for some reason. I don't know why. But today is hump day. It's just Wednesday, barely. And there you go. Beautiful. So we're going to use bubblegum gel in clear. Remember, after you get your bubblegum gel, Lay it on a flat surface, let it self level out, and then you can open it. Because if you open it as soon as you get it, you're gonna make a mess. And remember, it doesn't come all the way full. You only get 15 ml liquid fluid ounces. I'm gonna scoop out some clear, a little bit more on this one, and then pat it. Want something else? I feel like it's Thursday, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Totally. You always change your nails. Does the bubblegum gel damage your nails? No. Are the maximum coffin longer than the 2XL coffin? Yes. And they're also a different shape. I use peel off base coat to be able to take my nails off every day. So the Maximum Series is more of a flat kind of nail, very boxy. And the XXL is kind of like an in-between. And then you have XXL Sculpted, which is more sculpted, and then you have the 5XL, and then of course the 10XL. So now let's apply these bad boys. That fast, easy, breezy, beautiful. The great thing about the one, two, three go nails in any length is that literally the nails are done, perfect, consistent, out of the bag. But the best part is you can spend more time doing designs and other fun stuff than you know, slapping product on and then filing it and shaping it and all that. But look at that shape. <gasps> mm -hmm. 
Now let's make sure that the phalanges are not twack. They're nice and straight, I do believe. Does anybody here on Facebook know what twack means? Look at that length and that taper. That really tight skinny C-curve is everything. Let's bake these for one minute inside the barbie lamp. My boys want these now so bad, I told them soon. That's right, twerk means crooked. Am I supposed to use base coat with bubblegum gel? When I use press on gel, they've practically cemented on. But I've been getting my thing from the bubblegum gel. What am I doing wrong? Mm, maybe not enough prep on your natural nail, but you can definitely do a coat of press on gel as the base and then apply the uh, bubblegum gel on top. So we're almost done baking these phalanges. And then to clean my lamp, for example, mine, she's looking a little, little grimy. I like to use hand sanitizer. Same. Best thing. Because it cleanses and it also disinfects, but it won't um, ruin the finish of the lamp. And we're gonna get our fantastic file. I wonder what's wrong with the lighting on my phone lately. It makes the colors look so much darker. I don't know why. the sides. Make sure everything is nice and straight. Look how long they are you guys. The great thing about filing the nails with a fantastic file too is that with long nails you can get a really sharp straight side without any wonkiness because it is metal so it will hold its shape better. Also make sure you guys are curing it long enough the bubble gum gel to ensure that it is fully kung fu gripped to the nail. a paper cut right here and it's so annoying. One of the worst. So now we're gonna blend in the cuticle just a little bit and take my drill bit cleaner. Build up on the bit. Now we're just going to really gently blend in the cuticle.
Beautiful. And if you do get too much bubblegum gel on the nail, what you can do is you can pat it out with a brush. And so that way you can keep it thin at the cuticle, thin on the sides and thicker in the middle. And also, make sure that the nails are pre-etched for best adhesion. Like our 5XL and 10XL nails, all of those are pre-etched. And also, don't use any alcohol. The few people that we've had um, troubleshoot the bubblegum gel application have actually used alcohol in some way of uh, prep or in cleansing, and that does cause lifting. I'm gonna take our comb bit, our pointy comb bit. Does anybody remember the name of this bit? And I'm gonna cleanse it again. Yeah, it's always good to play around with it. Oh, stabby, stabby. And right now I'm using my bit at 18,000 RPM too. Look at that blend. It looks just like an acrylic nail. Gonna refine with the 150. Make sure everything is nice and refined, nice and straight and sharp. And this we only have a few more shapes coming out. Actually, we have like over 60 styles and shapes of the 123 Go nails. So like literally, we have the trademark and the patent on the longest. The most sculpted, the most flat. So the few shapes that are coming up this year is the excess sculpted ballerina that's coming up this year. And what other shape are we missing? I think the XXL pipe, when the XXL pipe is done, the current stock, it'll be re-released. So it'll look a little bit different actually. Oh, thank you. She's like, your cuticles look so pretty. I did a mani on Monday because my nails were looking horrible. And now I'm just taking my smoothie buffer and removing the surface shine off the nail to make sure everything is nice and ready for the gel fantasy. Because remember, our inspiration today is the blue tumbler. And the base gel polish collection that I'm going to be using today is the Playmate Spring Collection. Oh, thank you, Seven Thousand Stars. So kind.
So when you have really long nails like this, it's easier to buff the free edge holding the file like this, just to make sure everything is nice and even. I was going to ask, is anybody been watching the Olympics? I miss the opening ceremonies. So for the blue, I have two options. I have 186 from Playmate and to catch any of it, 186 and 181 both from the Fungel Playmate collection. So this one's a little bit more muted. And this one is a little bit more deep. Let's compare. One eighty one for the kill for the win. And as you guys know, the R one coat coverage. Look at that. that color and that coverage is no joke oh also I hope you love the tumbler I received an email my products are on the way that's right most orders are shipping within one to two days right now Serving it. The length is, I think, a little short though. A little too discreet. Let's turn the head upside down and let itself level out just for a few seconds. Love this color. High from Alaska. Maximum square and famous square. That blue is everything. My daughter would love it. What color is that? Just joined the live. This is the blue from the Playmate collection. I'm gonna freeze this just 10 seconds. Hi from the UK. City Stiletto. I've done a few videos with that. It's short. It's a short fantasy. There we go. Beautiful. And I'm also going to put glitter on top of that one because I'm going to cover it in stones. And then for the other ones... I want to do something easy. So we're going to do a marble design. Miami Vice vibes. A little Miami Vice paper wave.
Do you guys like the Vaporwave? The City Pump? So the brush that we're going to be using today for the marble design, because I want to show you guys how easy and fast it is to do the design on the long nails. Because if, for example, if you're doing this in a salon, you don't want to take more than two or three, two and a half hours to do a full set because then you're not making as much money as you should. If it's taking you three, four hours for a full set, there isn't that much money. Remember, time is money in the phalanges. So we're going to use some fun gel number one, white gel polish, which is 001. We're going to use Playmate 78, which is this really pretty yellow. Playmate 185, Playmate 181, 186. This one we won't need. It's just like a Tiffany's blue. And Supergirl 125. Love the music. She's like yelling at me to sit down instead of dancing. I can't stop you from dancing. I would actually pay money to see that. So on my tiara palette, we're going to take our Blossom Gel, which is 001. And we're actually going to use this to help us exhilarate the blossom of the design. Just like that. And then always go in with white first. And remember, there is no right or wrong, no rhyme or reason when doing these kinds of marbling. This is 178, really pretty pastel canary yellow. And then we're gonna get some pink, which is 182, also from Playmate. And a little bit of green, which is 185. I'm going to take a nail care wipe so that way we can use it to clean our brush. Because remember, the big secret to when you're doing marble designs. What I see a lot of people do, which they shouldn't, is they go and pick up more gel off their tray with the same brush that already has gel on it and it just creates a muddy design. That's why you see it starts out really pretty and then once it gets closer to the free edge, it looks really muddy and messy and that's because they're not cleaning their brush in between picking up the colors, which is actually really, really essential. So I'm gonna use the dotting side of the bling tool and I'm just gonna really gently mix them together. There we go. So you can see what the colors look like right here already. And then from the My Pink Toolbox brush set, I'm going to take the V-shaped one. Make sure it's nice and clean. Gonna get a little bit of acetone. Make sure there's no colors in here. Beautiful. And then you go, you're gonna wanna angle the nail down, okay? So that way the gel runs away from the cuticle. So now let's pick up a decent amount. and let the brush do its thing. Just look at that, how cool that looks. I'm 
and you guys can see when I go pick up the colors, I wipe the brush, wipe the brush, wipe the brush to keep it clean. And make sure you pick up enough gel on the brush too. Psychedelic fantasy, totally. And then I'm gonna get one of my vegan brushes. I'm gonna use the light pink one. Gotta make sure it's clean first. Remember, angle the nail down so that way that gel runs away from the cuticle. I'm just basically telling the gel to go wherever I need it. Very nice, very nice. Look how dope that is. It's gonna look so cool against the tumbler. And then we're gonna do a little trick. Get a nail care wipe, saturated in acetone. And you're going to run it against the sides of the nail like this, and that's gonna remove any excess. the nail as skinny as possible. Okay, there, good. Let's bake this for one minute inside the barbell. Loving it, beautiful nails, thank you. I always forget to tell you how gorgeous your hands are, Max. Thank you. It's 
sprinkle. That pointer nail is literally perfect. Oh, thank you. Heather's like, is there any promo? There's no promo codes right now, but there will be around Valentine's Day. Loving the color. And the collection that we're using is the Playmate, which is a spring collection. So this one I'm going to cover in glitter. This is Precious Minerals 44, which is a really pretty like fairy dust glitter. Pretty soft candy sparkle. And then for the other ones yesterday, I used the opal shiny. And it just looks so beautiful. So I'm going to use that again today. We had not used Opal Shiny in a little while, and it's just perfect for this time of year. As you can see, it definitely adds to the design. It doesn't take away from it, which is essential. Like melted taffy together. It's so adorbs. And this is, of course, Miss Opal Shiny. And you guys can see my bottle. She looks like she went to war. of glitter and I'm going to turn the hand upside down let it self level out make sure there's no excess on the sides and now we're going to bake her these are the princess pink diamonds that we used yesterday Okay, since the category the fantasy is blue, I think we should take some of the unicorn and some of the blue ones from the fairy diamonds. If I keep watching, I'm gonna need a bigger workspace for so much storage. Almost like a robin egg blue, so soft and 
and muted. It's really pretty. And these are almost done baking. A long time ago, he's like, I throw in the towel. Okay, so let's get some diamonds ready. Oh, here they are. Blue on blue on blue. And let's get some unicorn in there too. The unicorn is beautiful because it really has a aurora borealis kind of fantasy to it. And then we're also going to get some Crystal AB, this is Diamond Holic 74, I do believe. And here we got some silver ones too. And then take the crystals for your nails. I think the take some more of the silver ones in here. This is the crystals for your nails. And then bubblegum gel is great for bigger diamonds too, so I'm gonna get some of this too. Is my toothpick. My toothpick. There it is. I found it. Actually, because I touched acetone with this one, I need to pick it up again. Elizabeth's gonna need another nail room, she said. She's like, I have a house of nail products. Max, what inspires you? You inspire us. Oh, thank you. What inspires me? Hmm. Um, different things. Uh, oh, see, I did the same thing again. I touched it with this bloody hand. That's okay. I'm inspired by music, fashion, um, the Pink Army, different things. Like that. It's beautiful. Very discreet.
one. I'm going to freeze that just 10 seconds. Make sure the gels are facing away from the lamp. Oh, thank you. Squad salute. The old school Juicy Couture. Like that. But just like everybody, I have my days where I'm not feeling in the mood. Where I don't want to do nails or whatever, but then I think about what enocouture.com means to me and to everybody else watching, so. Keep touching acetone, which is what you're not supposed to do when working with bubblegum gel. Oh, my pleasure. Here I need a AP. Oh, uh, you know, as I customarily do, I always go live on Instagram first, but when I tried to go live on Instagram, it wouldn't let me. It said something error, so it just worked out in the end to go live on, on the Facebook first. Remember, keep everything towards the middle. So that we can keep the nail skinny mini. And you guys, the diamond sorting trays make a huge difference because since the diamonds are already facing up, it makes them so much more easier to apply.
but can you see these diamonds weigh a lot and they have not moved at all that is how dope bubblegum jelly is to apply big diamonds it's like gorilla glue Okay, I think that's enough. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty discreet. Pretty basic, pretty simple. You know, nothing too crazy. And it's baker for just 10 seconds. Just a freezer in place. And then on the other ones, I'm also going to do some big blue ones because I am obsessed with these beautiful blue fairy diamonds Bubble comes all the way. No, bubble gum gel does turn slightly tacky, but I'm actually gonna go back in with um, my liner gel brush and some either shiny or wonder gel or dom top and go around it. Very small, very discreet, very cash, nothing too wild. Corn diamonds. Yeah. Gorgeous, fabulous. All that glamour. Liza Manelli, eat your heart out.
Pour lies in vanilla. I need to control myself because once you start diamonding, you can't stop. I'm coming to freeze these, just 10 seconds. Then I'm going to play some small ones using diamond gel. Glow in the dark neon gel in another vid. We did a few last year when she first launched, and in the summer we have another glow in the dark collection coming out, which is really, really sexy. So I'm gonna take my vegan liner brush, the lavender one, and wherever I have little little gaps. I'm going to add just a few stones. I'm going to use the Crystal AV Lounge. Just a few. Just to create balance in the design and fill in any uh, uneven gaps. That's what's so much fun about working with the Diamond Holic series, is because since they're already pre-mixed, it's going to make your job so much more easier. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really enjoy placing diamonds. I think it's like super therapeutic.
No, the pinky. I think he doesn't need that much, actually. Just maybe like a few here. And one right there. So yesterday I was trying to pick a movie to watch because I heard there was a new Frankenstein movie on Amazon Prime. Well, not new, an old one, um, but it was available. And it was available to buy or rent. I was like, I'm not gonna spend $3.99 on it. There we go, okay, I think that's good. So let's bake this for one minute. And there was a movie that popped up and it was called Frank and Hooker. I swear to Jesus. Has anybody seen Frank and Hooker? It looked terrible. I'm trying to open up my water because I'm thirsty. Mm, let's smile. I just got some up. They're gorgeous. Awesome. Mermaid real Miss Fantasy. Oh, I'm glad that the uneven numbers help. It makes a huge difference. Have you seen Frankenhooker? Is it good? She's like, UPS better not be playing games or else it's going to get real. Call UPS as well to follow through with them and let them know that the tracking says it was delivered but you don't have the parcel. And where is it? You want to see my nails? It's for the blue tongue back on. Yes. Oh shit, you have said good. Good mood on it. Good mood. Good mood, all oh, mood. We're almost at nine, eight, seven, six, five. Count down with me, everyone. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. Oh, those are cute. What, um, nail use? I use the Playmate collection. Oh, okay. And I use all these colors. That's cute. But you don't think it needs more diamonds? No. You need your diamonds, your blink blink. I think that it needs more, like you can barely even tell it has diamonds. <laughs> That's cute though. You should get them like this for your son's party. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's a good one. How old is your son? What do you guys think? Let's apply a little bit of Connie Candy Cuticle Oil because I am dry. Very subtle. Very short, soccer mom kind of length. I love how they look against my jumper. Now, the piece of Rusty Stones, let's see how they look with the tumbler. <gasps> look at how they look with the tumbler, you guys. Super gorge with the tumbler. Very, very inspired. And of course, as you guys already know, we are rocking 5XL 
Coffin. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have to be really careful, but we have to head on over to Instagram right now. Oh, thank you. She's like, guilty of being beautiful. We're gonna head on over to Instagram and do the thumb. And I hope you guys enjoyed this design because I'm living for it. And check out all the incredible nail products, of course, from the one and only enocouture.com. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, my loves.